Hello, this is Franz from Berlin Bay's Pantronics, and here's a quick tutorial on how to import wavetables into VPS Avenger. I will use wavetables included with Xfair Records Serum, but you can use any WAV file really. For instance, those that come with any of the third party sound packs for it that you can find on the internet either for free or for purchase. Now, a wavetable is basically 256 samples lined up one after the other in a single WAV file, and each sample contains a waveform. Think of them like a bunch of snapshots. The cool thing is that we can scrub through them in real time with this knob right here. Of course, if we modulate this knob, we can achieve all kinds of interesting sounds. The first thing we want to do is to locate our waveform files in Avengers file browser. And mine are right here. And by the way, to locate Serum's wavetables, just go to menu, show Serum preset folder, and see where they are on your hard drive. Next, in the oscillator section, you want to select resample under the wavetable section here. And then simply drag your file into this area at the bottom where it says drop sample here. And the wavetable will load into Avengers oscillator. Now, as you've heard, the transition from a waveform to the other is not exactly smooth. But to fix that, we can reach this button over here and select 2048. That's the wavetable length or resolution. I actually don't know exactly what it does, but as you can hear, now scrubbing through the waveform sounds much better. The next step is to find the exact end of the wavetable. This knob right here selects the waveform which we're currently hearing, but if I turn it all the way up, I can see that there are more samples than those I can see in the window. The wavetable should end here, but there's more stuff beyond this point. To fix that, we need to use this knob to set the end of the wavetable at the correct spot. Exactly here. Now the run of the wave selector is right. Everything is finally set, so we can click the export button find a location inside the Avenger library. For instance, here, wavetables. It's also possible to create subfolders to keep everything cool and organized. Give it a name and click save. From now on, the wavetable will be always available forever under this menu supposedly at the location where I saved it. Let's verify real quick, initialize, select the wavetable we just created, and here it is. And that's how I import wavetables to VPS Avenger. If you find this useful, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any requests for a future video, feel free to leave a comment below. Until the next time, Pantronics out. Thanks for watching.